Hello scale models, in this video we are going to put our scale models in context by building a display base. In this case I am going to create a hexagonal pattern concrete airfield base but this technique applies to any other type of concrete airfield. To build the base I am going to use cheap photo frame and 3mm PVC foam board. This material is very easy to cut, it needs just a few passes with the knife. After I had the pieces cut to size, I used the photo frame as a jig to glue them together. For gluing I used CA glue. I used CA glue activator to speed up the curing. To paint the side walls I used spray can. I did this outside so there is no footage. This thing smells too much. I attached a hexagonal pattern template to the base using tape. I made this template myself and you can download it from the link in your upper right corner. After the template was secured in position I used the back of a scalpel blade to deboss the pattern into the base. And this is how the base looks after this step. Again using the back of my scalpel blade I am going to create cracks in the concrete. In the next step I pre-shaded and marbled the base using flat black. To add a bit of color variation I added dark earth marbling. Next I painted the base with neutral grey. If you like my videos and haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget about the notification bell, get notified as soon as I publish my next video.
Using a sponge, I added light grey effects. To represent the bitumen between the concrete blocks, I used flat black paint. I tried to give it an even appearance. I used flat black because when applied with brush it has more sheen and it is more subtle than gloss black. To give the cracks in the concrete better definition, I used deep grey panel line wash. The excess wash I removed using makeup applicator sponge. The display stand is representing a taxiway, so I did some markings. First, I placed appropriately sized masking tape where the center line would be. Then I framed the tape with wider masking tape. Finally, I removed the center line tape. To paint the center line, I used flat white. To simulate some wear, I painted some worn down areas using concrete color. The same procedure was done over the bitumen areas using flat black paint. For further weathering the base, I added light dust pigment on the corners which are presumably closer to the end of the concrete, thus collecting some dirt from the soil. For the center line I used Panzer Grey pigment to simulate dirt generated by rubber and other stuff coming from an airplane. To 
conceal the pigments, I used pigment fixer that I decanted into small sprayer bottle. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And if you want more of my videos, click on the thumbnails. Until next time, happy modeling.